Hey guys, Fozzy here, and welcome to another edition of Fozzy at Home. Well, remember when I said I wasn't going to do any conspiracy series unless you guys requested one? Well, I, I found one that was really so interesting, I felt like I... I, I actually felt like I should at least bring up my opinion on it. Now, however, since I'm, I mainly stopped doing videos because no one watched, no, which I want to pause, I say, many of you watch them, and I thank you all, each and every one of you, for doing it. It doesn't like I, I, I don't know, my conspiracy. My well, anyway, so, however, since, um, since mainly, um, since, since mainly no one asked for this theory, I decided, like, to provide a few links for this theory in the description uh, so that you could watch the series, and instead just make, just rather than going over the whole theory itself, just giving my opinion of it, like, in case you're wondering everything what happened, and Try to teach us and well, have and give you guys a little fun with the aftermath. So here it is. Um, in, oh man, I'm, I'm not. i so I gotta mention the Siri, but I'm not gonna talk about it. For for those of you who want to know about a Siri, click on the link in the description. I got five of them. Any of them will be in it. And if you want a Siri that seems logical, I'll click the last two. So. The, um, so, the first, um, so the theory itself go, first of all, um, who has, what is the name of, I have a trivia question and you guys see if you can, if you guys can answer it. Okay, um, what is the name? What is the name of the, of those five bears? In a family who live in a tree house and house who go by mama, papa, sister, brother, and baby, baby honey named after the white of Stan and Jan. Got 30 seconds to answer. Give up? Okay, is how many of you said it was spelled like this? Sorry, that is incorrect. The correct way it is actually spelled is with it like this. It, you can't really see it up there because it doesn't sew that well, but the the E is actually supposed to be an A, so it, it becomes spelled like this. Now, though I'm not going to go over the theory of so I'm not going to go over the theory itself because like I think you could do it if people are hundreds of people are claiming like that this was altered in an alternate dimension now until recently I thought that there was a more logical explanation now I'll admit I do believe that parallel universes exist but while I, I do believe parallel universe do, do exist, this, this one does seem like too, too out of it. I mean, but a lot of people mispronounce things, right? It happened all the time, right? So, I'm going to give you my thoughts about this, okay? Now, deep, originally, I just, so a lot of people are simply mispronouncing the books, right? Well, for a while, I had something to do, but, but then, how do you, ex but then, what about these people who claim that they had a book that said E, and now it's an A? What happened? Well, 
I think that a lot okay, of people, well, people can learn. Okay, from you. I have a question. Is what is the name of the man who wrote the cat in the hat? Like you, you almost want this more than anybody. And that passion and that determination, to me, is mm-hmm. the most inspired. Yeah, yeah, well, great technically, great. if you said Dr. Yeah, Seuss, you're, you're, you're technically right. right. You get out there However, that's not how it's pronounced. Dr. Seuss. Okay. Now, Dr. Dr. Seuss was born Can Can Theodore Seuss. Geisel, but Seuss was actually pronounced soy, like to rhyme with boys. Now, many people, but actually, though, many people, though, as you know, pronounce it Dr. Seuss. You won't find anyone who does it. There's even an interview online, you go ahead and watch it about Dr. Seuss. They don't meant the Seuss. They even talk about kids who went and visited him him and said to ask to see Dr. Seuss. He said, I'm Dr. Seuss. Even his editor calls him that. Believe me, I'm a big fan of the Lorax. There is not one trailer out there. Okay, now I like considered it. Okay. Who is the who is the big green guy on Halloween with the bolts in his head? Who al- who always go was created in a laboratory with spare parts. What is his name? Equine's fans is Christina Grimmie back for week two of the lives. Surprisingly, if you said I, surprisingly, if you said I don't know, that is actually correct. Fact is, is the monster didn't have no name, but but like many people actually always call the monster Frankenstein. In fact, it's almost everywhere. I I I watched Celebrity Name Game the other day, and they always say this commented Frankenstein was that guy. There's even a game killer for horror movies. They indeed say Frankenstein. No, Frankenstein created the monster. Frankenstein was the doctor. The monster, he has no name. Okay, I like here's like really a hard one for you. Okay, now some years back, and I hate to bring it back. Don't worry, it has nothing to do with racism. Some years back, um, this one. That that, that that one guy, Michael Witzers, went on a TV show so and offended a huge group of, group of African Americans using a word I am not going to repeat. Right? Okay. Well, it was, it, was, it was actually a club, my attention, but like, my mistake rather, but... But it, it came on li- it, it it came online and was seen on TV. Okay, so okay, so here's the the actor I already give you his name is um is Michael Richards. But so I have a question. Okay. When um when Seinfeld premiered. Way, way back on May, on May, oh sorry, that's on July 5th, 1989, what character did he play? He played Kessler. That's actually even an episode that they call him Kessler. Look, but his character's name was Kramer late, same to Kramer later on. They even did an episode like in Flatback where they voted off as a mistake. So, until, okay, so, what's the most logical say, explanation, right? Most well, simple. The, the, the Baron Steen, Steen name, the name is just like Dr. Seuss or Frankenstein or... Kramer, they just became so real, we just simply started misinterpreting that, and it just confused a lot of people, right? Consider how many, I mean, consider how many people still call Dr. Seuss Dr. Seuss. I mean, will, you have, will they ever start miscalling him Frankenstein? Probably not. But these just happen so much, they just become real. So, until recently, I accepted that was the idea, right? Okay, so it's pretty calming now, right? 
Nothing bad is going to happen, probably, right? Right, it's as simple as that. Well, until then, I was willing to let that west. But, however, though, though, um, here's like what... Here's like what I saw after that. There are several news articles. I try to get some in there on my edit button, but most of them won't let me copy the fake there and steam there. There are like a hundred of articles. They go over ten years and they all say bear and steam bears. These go on from the 1960s and the 1920s. Okay, not one time did they correct these. Well, what is going on here? It is freaking me out. How could all these newspapers be wrong? I mean, I, no, I, I just cannot think, think the thought of it. There is something really freaky going out there with all these newspapers. I'm sorry, but when it was all these people who was just claiming that, I just wrote it off as a simple misquotation, right? Why? But like, but like, all these years down are Jan Berenstein, and I'm saying it like that, because that's what I grew up reading, didn't say anything. I mean, it is freaking me out. I mean, there's maybe one thing to help, there's maybe one thing that managed to technically save this. Like, a few years ago, and I'll provide a link about this in the description, before she, before Sally, she passed away, Jan, Jan Berenstein and her son Mike did indeed pronounce their name Berenstein. So, since, um, so I think they would know their own name, right? Well, okay, so I guess if they know their own name, then, like, maybe at most it's a malfunction, right? But if it really is a malfunction, how would nobody correct it all these times? So, in the end, I would say... I would say it technically is polyological explanation because of Jan and Mike indeed mispronouncing their name Baron, their name Baron Stein, I, I mean pronouncing their name that, but I still say something freaky's going on. So, thank you guys. Hope you had a fun time. You have a good day.